Hi everyone. Um, today I'd like to talk to you about how I put my prayer notebook together. Uh, I need to give credit to Gina Garland who has a great video on YouTube. Um, I was searching for a way to uh, organize my prayer life and you know it's real easy to have all these different journals and they're so beautiful and you, you know you can you'll end up with five journals trying to um, cover all of your prayer life. And I love that uh, I have it all in one place. This is a one inch, five and a half by eight and a half, I believe, binder. You can find it at Staples. All of the supplies um, you can find at Staples and you can order it online. And um, I've looked everywhere and really Staples is the only place that I can find um, these nice little Avery binders with all of the uh, supplies that you, you know, that you would want to go in it. I also found at Staples the three hole punch for the size binder. You might as well get the small hole punch I think if you're going to have this little binder. Um, you know because you get papers at church and you might want to put some different prayers in there that you find online or or what have you. So um, I love that it's purple and it matches my purple Bible and um, which has my name on the front. I don't want to show you that. So let's get to this. I'll show you what's inside. Um, front area there's a pocket and again this is a Avery binder and they're very sturdy um, I think I paid um, when it was all said and done I probably paid $25 for the entire binder and all the different um, uh, supplies that are in it the dividers and I purchased extra little reams of paper and so um, I won't run out of paper for a while um, so I have this nice purple uh, folder or um, pocket and I can keep a pen in there and um, I don't know gum and tissue in case you get a little emotional when you're praying and um, so then I have um, Gina will recommend um, you know she'll give you instructions on how to put this together and she doesn't care if you copy hers she um, I'm sure you know it's fine that's what I did I thought why well, reinvent the wheel and you can you know change it however you want but she gives you the instructions on how to put this together and she recommended these praise and worship songs that you could um, kind of start out with you know and they have beautiful lyrics and um, just kind of puts your heart in the right place um, you know before you start your prayer and it's just a really nice way to, to do this so first section is Almighty God and that's just an area where you would just write down thoughts and um, conversations with God. And um, the second area is about myself, uh, me as a mom, as a daughter, as a sister, sister-in-law, employee, um, just all of those areas that we have in our life. Um, as a wife, I'm not a wife, but if you were a wife, you know, you'd put that in there also. And you would have a category also for your husband if you were married and maybe your marriage and then your children or whatever your particular situation is. Um, you might even want one for your pets. I don't know. And so um, the next section I have is for my son who is 21 and lives in Missouri in St. Louis. And so I think of him all the time and I have a, you know, time to pray for him and which is every day. And so um, I have these little, these great uh, dividers that have the pockets. And um, in these pockets, I have pictures of my family. For, I have one of myself here and people who are important to me in my life. And um, and then I have a picture in my in my son's section of him. And and uh, you know, just different. Whoops, whoopsie, he didn't see that. So here is um, a great little calendar that I found. It's in my son's section, and it's a calendar for mothers. Um, it's a prayer calendar for moms, and it's I found it at inspiredtoaction.com, and it goes over all the different areas that you would want to pray for your kids, uh, anywhere from salvation to faith, servant's heart, purity, self-discipline, um, just different areas that you would want to pray for and it's just so nice and organized you don't you know you don't have to think about the different areas because it's laid out here for you and it covers everything I think um, so this is again found at inspiredtoaction.com and she also Gina also recommends you know she'll have um, recommendations on different websites and um, places to go 
uh, for things like this. So um, that's what I have there. And then um, my next section is gratitude. And again, um, instead of having a separate journal for gratitude and another, my last one is journal and having a separate journal, it's just nice to have it all in one area and I can take it with me to the park or go sit on my favorite chair or just, you know, you can just put it in your bag. It's small enough and you can just take it with you. Um, the next section I have, I have these, I have dividers with the, the days of the week, Monday through Friday. And again, it's organized so that you can pray for the different areas um, daily. Um, each day of the week. Um, Mondays I pray for family and I have pictures of family in my little um, divider. Tuesdays I pray for my employer, my work. Um, I'm grateful to have a job and uh, so you know it's just one of those areas that I think are so important. You're praying for your co-workers and then on Wednesdays it's all about prayer requests and um, I think it's easy to forget. People will say you know pray for this, pray for that and you say that you're going to and then I think I don't know I struggle with this I've struggled in the past where I forget to pray for them and um, it's embarrassing but that's it has happened so it's nice to have everything in one area and uh, Thursdays it's all about praying for my church and church leaders and Friday it's government and government leaders and that's about it um, I just wanted to share this prayer notebook and how to put it together and um, I hope that this inspired you to put one together for yourself and thank you so much for listening bye